Hello, hope you're having a good day. Today, I wanna to talk to you about this three-way meter tester for your soil. It doesn't require batteries, and it checks for pH, moisture, as well as light. And my biggest concern here in my garden is my soil's pH. Moisture is important, but you know, I take care of the watering, but this will really help keep you on track in your garden. So I'm gonna take a closer look at it today, and uh, we'll uh, discover what this little guy does. I'm gonna go ahead and put this meter in. Okay, so you can see that this is set to moist and over here the needle is set, this is wet and this is dry and you can see the needle is at about 70% wet. So this, this plant is well watered right now as we're looking at the meter. Uh, we're going to switch it over to light and this thing should move way over to the right where it's going to indicate a lot of light. So let me flip that switch and there we go. You can see it's all the way over it. Um, the far side and light is being reached by this plant especially now you know I very rarely would be concerned about light you know I know my yard very well however if you have a deck with some uh, you know coverings and shade you may have some concerns so this would be a big payoff for you to check your light making sure that your plants gonna do okay if it requires you know a particular amount of light um, so now this is my biggest concern the soil pH I'm gonna shift it over here and now we're at soil pH so we go at the bottom see where it says alkaline and acid this is where you really want to pay attention um, for your soil pH here between the the, the uh, needle is between the six and the seven and that's ideal you know seven is the best so there's a little bit of acidity in this soil um, that means that here the, the nutrients are being taken up by the plant it's going to do well it's got the moisture obviously it's got sunlight and it's got a good pH so I'm happy with this and once again this is a potted plant we'll go over and take a look at a at an apple tree that I've transplanted and we'll take a look at the soil pH okay so here I am at my apple tree I want to clean off these rods before I put them in to remove any of the uh, soil get those nice and clean I'm using a microfiber uh, towel there we go it's nice and clean Okay, so my meter set up here at the apple tree, and you can see that uh, the moisture content, it's about 25%. It's at uh, 2.5. So this guy's going to be need to be watered today. Uh, make sure I take care of that. I'm going to switch to light, which you know I normally wouldn't use, but since it's on here, I want to show you how it works. It flips all the way over at 100% reading. You can see that it's got the full light value here. So this tree gets plenty of light, no concerns about that and I switch to the pH, my biggest concern, and the needle moves right to seven. So this soil is at the ideal of seven. There's not too much alkaline, and there's not too much acidity. Um, if there was high alkaline, I'd think about adding sulfur to kind of knock down some numbers. If it was uh, too acidic, I might think about adding blind to bring it up to a higher alkalinity level but it's good uh, probably a comment on my soil it's very rocky it's got a lot of sand the drainage is extremely good it drains well and <laughs> that's probably why uh, my moisture content is a little low let me go back to that and it requires uh, quite a bit of watering you know uh, especially with something like a transplant this apple tree to conclude this video I've included a photo of the meter set at pH and you can see up on the scale as the needle comes into view that uh, it's at a 7 on the scale. What that means is above you'll see a chart that shows that the soil is in a neutral zone so the uptake of all of its nutritional needs will be met. Hey thanks for watching I hope you found this very informative. 